Good day and welcome to Audio Tree Live. Today is Monday, October 15th, 2012. We're very lucky to have in the studio with us Frontier Ruckus.
Frontier Ruckus. Audio Tree Live. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Yeah, man. Hey, you guys, before the age of 10, sort of what type of things made y'all's world go around? You know, for me, it was like Hot Wheels and Matchbox cars and maybe Smurfs and stuff, you know? Walter Payton. Ren and Stimpy. Yeah, Ren and Stimpy, Matt. Before that, Doug. I was really into Doug, and Doug played banjo. Doug, one, yeah, one of, Doug. My, one of my biggest influences. <laughs> Doug funny. Doug and Raffy and shit. If Doug could only see uh, you now. Ske- what was his name? Ske- oh, Skeeter? Banging on a trash can. <laughs> yeah. on a street light. What about you, Ryan, man? What were your uh, things when you were a kid? Oh. My new stick bag recently. Like <laughs> right. Ninja Turtles. Yeah, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle vibe. We're ridiculous. I was wondering who that was. A lot of, a lot of rock on what the What about radio. you, Johnny? What about you? Things that you were uh, that made your world go around when you were a kid. Man. Oh, I don't know. I just wandered outside all the time and played with sticks and stuff. Yeah, man. Nature, <laughs> those, dude. Those were simpler times. <laughs> Bro, that's all you do. The world. Yeah. Right? I read a lot of Faulkner and Bruce. Right? <laughs> Carl Kant. <clears throat> Let's talk about you, Zach. What about you, man? What was your thing? That's what I was going to say. I was going to say Faulkner. <laughs> yeah? Well, we're, we're just a bunch of uh, literate uh, children. <laughs> right on, dude. But uh, same as Smalls in actuality. <laughs> Zach? Well, dig it. It's beautiful to have you guys here, man. Thanks for being in the studio. Yeah, with thanks us. for having us. We're in the studio with Frontier Ruggis. This is Audio Tree Live. You guys want to do Black Holes? Sure. Now, this song is our attempt at a 90s alternative rock radio hit. It's called Black Holes.
starter jackets of their favorite first grade teams. Though there are so many levels, javelins and the thin and coals, I know they all come Frontier Ruckus, Audio Tree Live, brilliant, you guys. Hey, Matt and David, maybe you guys, I'd love, I'd love to hear a little bit about the recording process with Jim Roll and Backseat Productions, and, you know, you guys made all your records there, so there's got to be some comfort level there. I hope you guys could, could talk about that. It's become very comfortable, like a second home, a kind of studio where you can sleep there and wear your underwear when you're re recording drums or stuff like that, so... Yeah, we try to wear as little, as few clothes as possible when we... It became distracting. I mean, <laughs> right, that brings the best out of the artist nakedness. Uh, yeah, yeah man. usually. I'm with that. Yeah. Um, no, it's, it's, Jim, is, Jim is an incredible guy who, who puts up with us and, and, and knows our, our idiosyncrasies really well. Yeah. And um, especially with like with like Zach, Zach's recording process is so yeah. he, involved Jim, and so layered. Jim and I are of one mind at times. Yeah. Whoa! We don't even need to speak. You guys share a mind. You com co communicate telepathically. Yes. We try to do as much live, like initially as possible. So like the drums, the bass, guitar, and a lot of most of my vocals on, that end up on the records are just the live vocal of recording the skeleton track. And then after that, Zach just goes to town on, with all the icing that goes on top. Do you go to town? That's the fun part. On, dude. Dig it. And when you go to town, where do you guys uh, hang out in Ann Arbor when you're there? At our girlfriend's house. <laughs> Fair enough. We're in the studio with Frontier Ruckus. Thanks for being here so much, you guys. Oh, it's, man. it's great to have this you. This is fun, yeah. Let's do what you are. Okay. Jackson, play a little song. Let's add more contraptions to my get up here. <laughs> get a hat. Hook it up, dude. <laughs>
Frontier Ruckus, Audio Tree Live. Thanks for being here, you guys. Thank you. Hey, how do you guys, when you guys are driving in the van, you guys are touring quite a bit, and you guys have been together for quite some time. Yep. How do you guys decide who gets to DJ in the car? The driver. Driver. The driver always gets to DJ. So are there guys who drive more than others, or does everybody drive equally? I think Smalls drives, likes to drive a lot just so he can play the music. Oh, That's absolutely. My, yeah. Smalls, I think, chooses the most. I, I tend to drive kind of the most but i'll usually just let smalls relaxed. throw down it's the dj relaxed. that's right yeah i'm pretty chill about smalls that. is an eclectic dj so it's good he'll like turn you on to new stuff like if i'm driving it's always neil young or bob dylan or <laughs> yes. simon and garfunkel smalls is a pretty good intersection of all of our musical interests it's not really a good thing though because i feel if the driver is the one that's always controlling the ipods like whose eyes are on the road <laughs> why do we do that <laughs> that's why that's that's my point yeah that's elemental. We also though. have That's something called the a deal. Smalls Detour, but I don't know if we should get into that. <laughs> yeah, talk about Basically, it. Basically, a Smalls, Smalls detour? detour is when Ryan's driving, and the situation where we're lost goes from bad to worse really quick. He like gets flustered. He gets really, he gets really flustered. flustered, and we just get more and more lost. Instead of just turning around, he's like tries to write it in all the wrong ways. <laughs> and then like a truck stop yeah. is involved. And, and then, then we're then just like all of a sudden in no, a cornfield stuck in the mud. I think one mud. time we were literally in the middle of a desert at the end of a Smalls Detour. <laughs> Right, and you were supposed you to be in Canada and, and shit. <laughs> right, like in Dumb and Dumber or something. We we ended up in like the shadiest back alley in oh, Charleston. Uh, Charleston, South Carolina. It was like the scariest few nice. minutes of our lives. Do Let's do careening. Yeah, I mean. Dope. Thanks, guys. We're in the studio with Frontier Ruckus. This is uh, Audio Tree so Live Chicago. Audio trees. I'm having fun. I, I'm, so really, long. I'm really feeling it right now. I'm going to say you guys are the apotheosis of professionalism.
their way The old lovers spurn and the new lovers enter The bitter night burns and the bottle returns Dicky center Where the dealerships scarcely light up the parish Where we wore Catholic uniforms on K-Day The winner it frigidly deals out a litany A bottle parts from RF to the cemetery state Dealerships, dealerships, and the night townships My allergist magazines were from the late 1990s When dealerships dealt out Pleated hand children belting and locks Shelter their snow boots in sweltering showrooms Or store space that radiates 10,000 watts And I'll meet you out where the outlet malls turn to black holes And I'll greet you cradling obsolete remote controls To television sets, entertainment cabinets And lost living rooms, trampled carpets VHS, Sunday's cassettes Teenage trophies and plastics, opera nets And the clip art signs atmosphere here. Audio Tree Live. Hey, have you guys ever experienced anything paranormal? <laughs> Do you guys believe in paranormal stuff? Uh, I know John doesn't. I don't know if I do. I know. I I'm the pragmatist in the group. <laughs> what about aliens? Have you guys ever seen a UFO? Do you guys believe in uh, intelligent life on other planets? I've seen things flying and I didn't know what I've they were. Cool so stuff. technically... Right? Technically, yeah. you have seen it. I couldn't identify it. Someone else probably could. It is statistically very, very probable that there is other life. So, who knows? Well, yeah, the universe is so vast. I mean, it's an right. infinite world out there. For us to think that we're the only intelligent life is sort of small minded. I mean, dare I go there? I think. No, yeah, they, they just found a planet a few galaxies away that has the same conditions and all that stuff. That'd be great if it did. They're always fine. They're always fine. Yeah. You know what blows my mind is we were, we, were, uh, we were at a rest stop or something, a gas station a few weeks ago, and I picked up like a, a New York Times or something like that, and there was the headline. Or it was a special edition. It was talking about uh, the Mars rover that just recently landed. And they were talking about how a manned flight to Mars would take two years. And I looked mm -hmm. at Matt, and I was like, two years? Why the hell aren't we doing that? You tell me somebody hasn't volunteered we don't to have, spend two years. Do it to Mars. Plenty of people have volunteered, but they just don't have the technology to feasibly get us back. You know, I don't. I don't know if I believe I that, mean, man. They, they probably will. I wrote NASA tomorrow. to volunteer you, Zach, so hopefully we'll hear back. Soon. We did the moon in 1969. I think we can get to Mars. Soon. Dude, if we email SpaceX enough, dude, this shit would happen. I think we just need to get Red Bull on board. And yeah. It'll happen yeah, right yeah, away. Yeah, I just call up my man Elon Musk. <laughs> just tweet at those cats. This shit will happen, dude. We're in the studio with Frontier Ruckus, Sario Tree Live, Chicago. <laughs> so there's a, this one is a very effects laden. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Can you guys hear that? Could you maybe bring the DI level up a little bit? Because everyone kind of needs to hear that tempo. I think we're good. Shibuya. 
Typically, when we do live streaming things, we like to give out Dave's uh, phone number to see if anyone. Oh, so let's him. do that now. This is the Dave's phone number portion of the session. <laughs> yes, if you would like to uh, send in comments or requests, my telephone number is two four eight five six one three nine nine three. Uh, just don't text me after today. <laughs> <laughs> this is brought to you by Gillette Razors. David will call you back and sing you a song. You heard his mustache on the microphone just then. No, that wasn't my mustache. It was. <laughs> oh, Don Coster says... We already got a text. Don Coster says <laughs> it sounds great on Audio Tree Live. Thank you, Don. Thanks, Don. We love you. Send our love to Charlotte, North Carolina. That thing's going to be buzzing off the hook now. Let's do this, fellas. <laughs> There's a white limousine with Massachusetts plates And all the loose occupants those 90s prom dates green.
Frontier Ruckus Audio Train Vibe. Oh, no. Beautiful, you guys. What happened to that small oops in that one? My uh, fist string capo uh, flopped out there. Oh, that's oh, what no. was happening. Do we have to drive to uh, Staten Island to replace it? or? No, it just it just, it just just came out. That, that, oh, okay. that counts for the uh, it being out of tune. Well, I, I, I oops on that one, too. I, that, but that one, that song mentions a wicked warbling, so I think that is yeah. apt. It'll be cool. It was apt. Everything we did was artistic. Mm-hmm. <laughs> hey, you guys, we, we've weaved our way to the psychoanalytical portion of the session. Hooray. You guys were talking about your childhood and reading philosophy here? and everything. If you had to be a life form other than human being, what life form would you choose to be? Animal, vegetable, or mineral? The earth is a sentient place. The earth feels we are all part of the earth. Everything is alive. I'm going to just field that one first because I feel very strongly about this. Yeah, come on, John. I, I'd be a sequoia. Dude, because I sat next to one of those things once. You would. And it was like. <laughs> Did you cry? <laughs> nice one. It was. It was like, dude, being in a forest of sequoias is being like in a, in a cathedral. I just meant you know. Would be a sequoia. And uh, to know that that tree that I was sitting on was like older than recorded history, I think, or not recorded history, right. but you know, older than Judeo-Christian recorded history. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm with you, man. You know what I mean? Those are beautiful trees. I like that. That's Somebody good. fact check yeah, this. No, I could be deep, talking. Dude. Sequoia is strong. That's good. Who else? Who's next? Ryan, how about you? What would you be life form other than human? I think I would probably be a northern pike just because they are so amazing looking. And John, yeah. I would swim beneath the roots <laughs> of your sycamore tree. <laughs> sequoia. Sequoia. Right? Whatever. Whatever. Whatever yeah, it is yeah. you said. Yeah, whatever uh, his weird tree was, <laughs> I'd swim under it. <laughs> I like it. It's all happening. You guys are all part of the same ecosystem. Let's keep it going. How about you, Zach? Life form other than human? Do you think I could be a basset hound puppy for my entire life? Of course. You can be anything you want. We're uh, creating our own universe here. You usually You'd be so up, cute. But a basset hound puppy, and then I just wander around in parks. Yeah. <laughs> Get petted by people for being so cute. That's all I want. How does, yeah. this, intera- how does this interact with John's tree? I'm going to pee. Yeah, I was going to say. Yeah. <laughs> cool. If that's all right with you. Know, you it's the circle John. of life there. Fertilization. I've seen so many organisms come and pee on me in my lifetime. It's, <laughs> yeah. it's no biggie. It's part of it. It's part of the deal. Yeah. David, what about you, man? Life form other than human? I think my spirit animal is an eagle, and I, I, would, I would probably perch my, and, and, <laughs> and build my nest in John's tree. Yeah. <clears throat> and, and I would eat smalls. <laughs> Whatever, eagle. <laughs> Whatever, he says. You probably like the red Power Ranger. Oh. Boring stuff. Yeah, I like boring. the Power Rangers. You like Leonardo, too. Let's Leonardo go, Matt. What great. about you? Life form other than human, Matt? I'd be a 1988 maroon Chevy Cavalier. Yeah, baby. Did you drive that mug for a while? My mom did when yeah. I was growing up. But uh, I, I would use... Is that because you want small children inside you? <laughs> what? Oh, wow. Well, this is the psychoanalytical portion of the session for sure. So what kind of tunes did you listen to that mug when you were, uh, you know, getting taken to school? Um, I just remember listening to a lot of Red Wings games on the, on the radio, oh, driving dope. home from my grandparents' house, like falling asleep to it because it was such a dulcet kind of soporific tone to the announcer's voice. It, even though he was very excited to me. Ken uh, Daniels? That's probably, beautiful, yeah. man. Or, or Red, Redman? What was the guy's name? Mickey, Mickey Redman? Yeah. Was he the TV guy? Anyway. Um, yeah, so I've... That's rad, With, like, man. the sh- the, uh, the lamp glow from, like, the dealerships. Uh, you know, like, the way shadows, like, kind of uh, sh- shift through it. Uh, whatever. It's sort of like a Doppler effect, <laughs> yeah. but for shadows. Yes. I love the shifting shadows through a car at night. <laughs> That's the life. Oh, uh, Annie Dillard, she's got a great story about those, about those shadows. Yeah? Check it out. Check it out. We'll hook it up. Google Annie that Annie Dillard, yeah. she's, she's got... She's Thanks so much for being in here, you guys. You guys got a couple more think, for us? Yeah, one. Or this is uh, two songs. That's like, gonna be. That's gonna be one song, basically. Thanks again so much for being here, you guys. It's been that's a, right. a pleasure you. to have you in the studio Good today. Yes. Bike trail. Should I check the text? No, Anything? No, we gotta go. Let's jam.
Frontier Ruckus, Audio Tree Live. This band is not to be missed. They're in Ames, Iowa tomorrow night, and then they got a very healthy, healthy tour coming up. Kansas City, Norman, Denton, Austin, Houston, Jackson, Oxford, St. Louis, Columbia, Atlanta, Nashville, Louisville, Madison, Marquette, Minneapolis, Akron, Cincinnati, and a dope-ass New Year's Eve show in Detroit City, baby. <laughs> Right. That's the shit, you guys. Keep grinding, man. Thank you so much for having us. Thank you guys, you guys so much for being in the in the in the studio with us today. Let's give a big thanks to our videographers today, Brian, Jane, Justin, and Megan. They hook it up every time for us. Our engineers, Rick and Patrick, Michael and Adam on the webcam, 
It's been a beautiful day, you guys. Thanks again for being here. It's been Monday, October 15, 2012. We've been in the studio with Frontier Ruckus. My name is DJ Abel Vince. Everybody have a very safe and beautiful day. Good night. Thank you guys so much.